Hey guys, did you know on a broker company level, if you set up your website, your agents will inherit that design like mirroring. So you can actually set up your company site. All of your agents are going to inherit that from day one, meaning you bring in a new agent, their website is there. It's going to be completely set up. So let me go over the basics of web design so that you can see and add cool little enhancements, all that fun stuff. So when I come over to web and IDX and it is tricky on a broker level, you see the brokerage, you see branch locations, you're going to see yours. It's kind of crazy. So you can go right over to web and IDX. I go back, it's going to be the brokerage automatically shows up. So the broker, whatnot, whoever, manager, whatnot. When you go back to all websites, you're going to see your office domain, the main company. If you're a multi-office, you will also see branch sites. What I am noticing now, I used to have to set up each branch location. They seem to be inheriting the company now. So that's even better. So I don't have to create a complete website design for all the branch locations, whether that's supposed to be happening or the other way was correct. I don't know. I feel like I'm losing my mind sometimes because they are constantly changing uh, how the, the games are played. But right now I am able to set up a company and then I just go in there and tweak and add the navigation for the pages recreate on a company level. So come over here to site settings. You're going to have your basic settings. So we have the Remax template. Some offices have all the templates. I don't think they're supposed to, but I have seen it. I just stick with the Remax one because, um, it could be taken away if it's not supposed to be there. I've seen that happen too. So definitely background images. What I do notice on a company, if you add a video, that is what the, the agents are not inheriting, inheriting the photos. If you're just using a photo header, I don't know why it should, but it's not, but they do inherit a video. I create all my video headers right inside of Canva. I just use the template for a YouTube video and if you have a pro Canva and you live in a popular place, there is a ton. I have a bunch of videos pre-done already in my website, uh, Social Marketing Nut. If you go to the KB Core sites and kind of scroll um, mostly down under the plans I have, I have videos. So I have like living areas. I have family lifestyle videos. I have a Remax Build Your Business video. Feel free, use those for um, your video header until you create your own get your own person, upload photos, whatever you want. I just will tell you uh, as far as inheriting, they inherit the video, not so much the photos, at least for now. Um, so you can upload your own videos. It has the size right there. Again, if you use Canva, you can preset up that. Go in Canva. You'd be surprised how many photos or go take photos. Have uh, one of your photographers go out there, get some aerial, get some drones, whatever it may be. This is a secondary logo. We have used um, Proud to be a Miracle Office, so that's going to be showing up. We like to do that. And let me try to pull up this website. There we go. Just so I can use that in a minute. You have all these different, a lot of these options. You won't know what they do because they're for the other templates. The traditional KB Core is like the hero template. We do not have that currently hopefully soon we'll get those maybe once everybody's onboarded right now we don't so a lot of the options here like i don't understand what this is don't worry it doesn't apply to the template that we have this is that forced registration area you can completely edit what you want to be done um the website title that's going to kind of show up up here as well as you know in the uh, let's bring that over just so you can see that's going to pull in here and then you have their title there so you can update that. I personally do not want the smart number displayed on my website. I use the office number instead only because when I had KB Court independently, people would find the website and it's just people like basic admin. I want my front desk answering those calls and the smart number is definitely a little uh, tricky. It's awesome tool. Tell your agents not to call it or text it. Just end a story. Let it let the system use that number and they can do text codes, which I have videos on that as well. But I personally like to use the office number, not the smart number. It confuses everybody. And I don't want my agents being a receptionist when it should be going to my front office. Just my opinion. Completely up to you. 
Of course you can, if you have widgets or there's little hacks, you can add coding. Uh, this one is for my landing pages. So that uh, changes the color of the orange buttons. So they're blue, whatever it may be. So there are some different options where it may say, enter this code in the header, the body, the footer. We have all those options. We can add those there. Definitely a little more advanced, but you can add in your office ID, uh, your URL for Facebook, you would just do the second half. So if it's like facebook.com forward slash office name, you just want the office name there. It will give you that, that chat, chat option. I personally like doing it on my business or my personal only because otherwise it goes into business manager and I get way too many messages. So I can't even have the, the business totally up to you. Um, let's see contact phone. Da, 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 da. This, uh, da, da, da. I don't, that hasn't done anything for me. I've added, it's still the same. So you can inherit all of your child testimonials. So when it comes to KD Core, the company is basically the parent and your agents are your children. So anytime you see parent or child, it's referencing company or your agents. And a lot of the pages you can create, there is an option. Do you want your children to inherit this page? So a lot of offices that add like recruiting pages, they don't want those to be on the agent site. So they'll just click no. Otherwise, why not? The more information, the better for your agents not have to lift a finger to do anything. Um, so I do. And so as agents manually add their testimonials for their website, it will carry over to the office website, which is awesome. This is where you would add your video. Uh, ID and it's basically everything after on that YouTube. It has to be YouTube, YouTube URL, everything after the equal sign. So it'll be like youtube.com forward slash V equals. And then that's the ID that you want to put in there. Save it. If you add the full URL for YouTube, it'll be black. So we don't want that. So make sure it's just everything after that equal sign. You can unhide that chat widget. Uh, if you do that, that way your agents, if they have their Facebook URL inside of their Mac Center account, it should automatically display that chat widget for them. Again, these are going to be more for that hero, which we don't have. Keep this um, large background or there's one that's full width. I keep that. Otherwise, you have nothing but white space on the sides. I've seen some people just play. This is going to be your navigation. You can edit what shows up there. So you have all of these, I can change what that says. So I believe uh, by default, home value is sell. So it's search, sell. I could change that to listings. That was sell. You only get so much space for your navigations or it'll wrap. And sometimes as you fill this up, it's going to go into that secondary logo. So I try to keep these short. I try to combine as much as I can into categories as I'm adding content pages to be able to add them. Um, just something that you kind of learn as you're, as you're playing. So now going down all of this fun stuff, this is where as you add pages, then you can come over to your navigation. This is going to be a single page. This is going to be categories. So my categories, there's multiple pages within a category. That is what's going to create the dropdown. But you can see this as a single page. So that's where on that custom navigation, as you add pages, you'll have these as an option. I could use any of these, even if it's in a different category, I can just choose one page to be uh, shown on that navigation. If I have multiple pages, I am going to use the category that's going to create that drop down. I do hide the resource tabs because everything is up here and it saves me space. Otherwise, as soon as somebody goes to one of the pages, it's going to have that resource page where it'll have everything. So I can come right here back to resources. That's going to give you all of the pages that we have. So it's super easy for someone to find it, but I have what I want up here on my navigation. So I personally hide it because it, it saves my space on the options I have. Let's see going down. This is your listing carousels. So every MLS I've noticed is a little different because a lot of teams, they may have the sold. So you can have like sold, my sold listings would be an option on an agent. Sometimes I have a lot more options here than some of the other MLSs where it doesn't give much, but you can change. That's going to be all the way down on your homepage. 
you get three carousels that you can choose. So I like our listings on an agent. If they don't have any listings, it'll go from my listings to our listings and display their office location, all of those listings. It doesn't show company wide. I wish it would. That would be awesome. Or I wish we could just have a carousel to show all the company listings, but right now, not an option. So you can choose like our listings, just listed. I, I like just reduced. Default is going to say open houses. And I guess everybody has different opinions on that, but I really don't want to show on my website where all the other agents are going to be. So I like just reduced. Plus, after listening to my husband talk at the, the water cooler talk at his office, you would think the sky's falling when it comes to real estate. So just reduce seems to be super hot topic for him. He won't even look at a house that's just listed because it's going to reduce and it's overpriced and blah, blah, blah. The sky's falling, right? Make sure you go set up your Google Analytics. Super easy. I have a video on my website how to do that in two minutes. I literally start from the beginning and set everything up. It's even if you don't do the reporting, it's nice to know it's there. I do monthly reporting. I want to know where my traffic's coming from and what's working. So I personally love it. It's free. It doesn't cost anything. Just go to Google Analytics and start going. Um, this, I pretty much, da, 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 I leave pretty much all of that there. This is going to allow you to see what listings do you want to display. Every agent has this option. Typically when they say, um, like I had a, an agent who had a rental, it was like, I don't have any, my rental is not on my website, but it's everywhere else. And I'm like, go here, what are your settings? So that way, if you do have a rental and you want it to display, you can just check, check the rentals and now it'll display with that next feed. So you can choose what listings you want to display. I personally don't want rentals, just, just uh, our opinion. We have a rental site. So you can choose what you want to be displayed. If you're in an MLS in Florida, there's like Stellar. So that pretty much encompasses like from the East to the West Coast. You may want to narrow that down if you have a large MLS area to show only certain counties. So I could do that and it's all, I'm able to now go down and pick all of the counties in our area. I don't have that problem. We just have one MLS. It's not crazy like some of those others, but you can narrow that down. Uh, I know with Stellar, it's like, okay, well, we have Daytona to Tampa. You know, maybe we don't want to drive three hours. So that's how you can narrow that down. And then going down, how do you want your default to sort? So this is days on market. I could be priced high to low, popularity, although I can tell you if you do popularity, um, you'll find that there are $30,000 trailers available and those are very popular. So I don't like the popularity. The price high to low usually is going to display the pretty photos. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and reset that. This is going to be how your listings display. I personally like the map view. They do have grid and a list, which anybody can toggle between those. But I love the map because it's a visual. There's little dots on that area. And then on the right side is going to show uh, like a grid of all of those listings that they can easily click on. So that's kind of your settings, your web IDX. But when you come into content, that is, and always make sure sometimes when you toggle, it's going to go back to a different website on a broker level, but definitely add in your service areas. You can add SEO. You can even add content above the default content in here. So here's like Cocoa Beach. Let's see what we have. If I go to cities, I make uh, all of those pages from the areas we serve area. And that's where I can add in more search engine optimization. So Cocoa Beach, what did I put for the top? I saw something in there. You can add code. You can add text. I like videos, all that kind of fun stuff. And let's see if it's going to pull up. Do, 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 do. Well, I guess we'll, okay. Is it working? Come on. You can do it. I know you can. Maybe. All right. Let's go back and we'll see if that goes there. Add in SEO. This, any, anywhere you can add in your own kind of search engine optimization, do it. And then, of course, we have custom pages. You can see we have a lot of different pages. We've created landing pages, all that fun stuff. Um, and we just have all of that. And that's where everything's in categories, all of that fun stuff. And I can show you like editing, basically add in there. What category is it under? I did not have to create all the content. 
I just basically took from the bottom here, right click, copy link, come over here and you'll see if I were to do the full link, it has the office website. I don't want, obviously I'm going to be putting this on a drop down. I, as a page, because I'm creating this page, I'm going to remove everything, my website, the domain for the office. Otherwise, if you do set it up this way and on an agent's website, when they have that drop down, it's going to go back to the office website. So if you remove that domain, it's fine. Just keep that slash areas, whatever that page is, everything after there. KV Core is going to automatically know what to do with it. So that way all the agents have that. It's going to stay on their website. That's what we want. And of course, always make sure add in SEO everywhere you possibly can. So that is how basically I'm able to create all those fun things. So um, going over to widgets, that's what's really going to help you customize your site and give it a new look and feel. So the widgets that I am using, the featured area widget, my absolute favorite, you do not have to keep it as cities. It could be golf properties, waterfront homes. It could be so many different things. You have a lot of options to play with that. So definitely check that out. That's more of the custom stuff. Um, this one is your home worth. I like it because it gives me the opportunity. I use a widget for contact us. I have the home worth, which gives me the sellers and buyers. And then I have my market report. So those pretty much encompass all ways to be able to generate a lead. I keep it simple. Agents, at least off the bat, are going to have a nice site with all of the areas and different ways. They can completely edit and everything after the fact. And they can't break it if they decide, oh, I don't know what I did. I was playing with widgets. I encourage them. You can't break it. All they'll have to do, they're going to see a little gray banner that says they're inheriting the parent site. They can go in there and just remove it, start adding their own. If they're like, oh my gosh, mine looks so ugly. I just want it to be back the way it was. They come over here, they delete all that. Immediately, it is going to rebring all the parent site uh, widgets back to their site. So they can't break it. I encourage them, play with it, get the look and feel, change it up, all that fun stuff. So I do all of these fun things, um, play with the widgets, encourage that. But just know when you're setting it up and the agents can inherit it, I want to think of the agents, what's important to them. I don't want them to have to do a lot of editing because I want it to be kind of a one and done like magic. It's just there and they can edit, they can add their own logos, they can do a lot of stuff, but you can really change the look and feel of your website through the videos, secondary, and of course your areas. And feel free on the social marketing net, I have a ton of different examples, whether it be company, teams, agents, get inspired. I have videos showing you exactly how I do everything I'm doing. Definitely feel free to check those out. And of course, if you have any more questions, pop them um, below the video. I will do my best to get to them. So hopefully this helps. I saw a lot of people as they were entering the group, how to set up the website was one of the big and, you know, the onboarding and training, and all that fun stuff. So stay tuned. We've got a lot more videos, tutorials, live classes, whatever we can do to help you guys onboard, engage and get your agents to use this amazing platform. Uh, we're here to help you. So chat soon. Bye guys.